so hello and welcome friends to our channel intro make and here we discuss about basic mechanical engineering concepts and also the use of these concepts in practical world we know that we should be able to utilize the knowledge for the practical purpose so there are a lot of things in the industry that should be correlated and that is the aim of our sessions so today we are going to see what are the different industrial sensors so sensors play a very important role whenever you consider any automated system so there are a lot of types of sensors available in the market so today we will see what are the most widely used sensors in the industry so let's check out so we will discuss about more that which are the most widely used sensors so let's see now here you could see that there is a conveyor and the pallet is moving from one place to another place and if you observe here the lever is getting pushed by the pallet and here you could see we are getting a signal so this is one kind of sensor and it is a contact type sensor because you could see that the sensor is actually being in contact with the job and that's why it is a contact type sensor then here we have a second example now you could see same we have conveyor and a job is passing and you could see here we have a sensor and when the job comes under the sensor you could see we are getting a signal a green light that means we are getting a signal so what is the difference here this is a non-contact type sensor because the sensor is not actually touching the job and that's why it is a non-contact type sensor so let's see uh, how they are differentiated so in contact type sensor we have the limit switches so the limit switches are very widely used and they are being contact type sensors and in non contact type sensor we have a proximity sensor so again on the working principle based on the working principle their sensing ranges and a lot of things they are categorized as inductive sensors then capacitive sensors magnetic sensors and ultrasonic sensors then we have a second category called as photoelectric sensors and uh, we have a through beam sensor a retro reflective sensor and a diffuse type sensor under this category so based on their operating principle and many other features the sensors are categorized so our main purpose is to focus on how these sensors are utilized what is their what are their practical applications how we can select this sensor from the catalog which manufacturer offers uh, these different variety of sensors so we will see all these sensors one by one in our upcoming sessions so this was just an introductory session that which are the most widely sensors it is not like these sensors only used in the industry but in automation these kind of sensors are very widely used and that's why we should know these sensors and we should also know that what are their characteristics or for what application which sensors should be selected how to search those sensors from where we can find out their data sheet and specifications while reading the data sheet on which factor should we focus so all these things are very important and we will see uh, those things one by one in our upcoming session so that's it for the today's session and i hope you understood the things and if you have any doubts please do write into the comment section until then stay home stay happy thank you